Hello and good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Um, this is the fifth episode of uh, the Yes to Consciousness series. And today we talk about uh, choosing from the space of infinite possibilities. Actually, what does it mean? Uh, let's start with this. What does it mean choice or choosing? And um, of course, there are so many life situations when we choose, like you choose like buying uh, something in the supermarket or you choose to go to work every morning or you choose to take your children to the school. You choose to pay taxes, you choose to pay uh, for electricity, you choose to buy new dresses, you choose to make your cooking, you choose to visit your friends or make a phone call. Many of these choices are so, it's done so um, automatically. So it doesn't really seem to be a choice. Though each and every choice creates something. But oftentimes we have an idea that, um, like we have a, let's say, we have a point of view or a projection that if I will do this, that will create what I want it to create. But, but that's based on a projection, that's based on a past experience. It's, it's never about uh, asking a question. And then there are those situations when you have to choose between different options. And then uh, let's say when it becomes more logical. So we think about like, should I do this or should I do that? If I do this, will that create what I would like to have? So we start to think about the choice and what it creates. And of course, um, thinking doesn't really help, though this is what we get used to. The other option is that um, to start to function from question. Of course, the topic is now choice. So <laughs> how could we sort of like help the whole process? Because with choice, you can really create um, a totally different uh, situation. So there are choices that we make automatically and there are choices that you can make um, being more present and, and more conscious. And also the other element of choice that what we get used to is that choosing from those things or those possibilities where we have all the resources available. Let's say you only visit your friends, like those people that you know, that, that you know they are at home, or you visit them if you have to go by car, only if you have petrol in your car, or if you have a car, like you don't visit those people who are like many hundreds kilometers away from you. So we do choices in a, based on a logical reasoning. For example, you don't buy, um, let's say a new car because you don't have money for that. You only buy it if you have the money for that. You only buy those things where you have available money. You only go for a holiday when you have free time available. You only go to those places on a holiday where let's say that fits into your budget. And of course you only choose those professions to work in where you are where you have the education, where you have some experience in that area. So these are again, like another element of, of choosing, which is I have to have the resources for that choice. But actually it's not true. The amazing power of choice that it, it starts to sort of like um, pull in all the resources that are required for that choice to show up in this reality. So you can say like, what do I mean? I mean, for example, you can choose to buy a car. Maybe you don't have the money for that, but if you choose to buy that car, the money starts to show up or possibility starts to show up. Or maybe someone, some of your friends tells you that I have this kind of car that I would like to sell and I would sell it cheaper. 
for you. Or maybe your parents would say that they want to buy a car for you. So there are so many options and versions that can show up as a result of your choice. If you don't choose, then nothing will show up. I'm talking about those choices where you definitely don't have all the resources that are required. So, and here comes another thing, like you don't choose things where you think it is not available or not possible to have. So for example, there are like the resources is not a question, it's just not possible to have. Like uh, it's not possible to have a certain kind of life situation, which is not normal in your environment or in your country, just because no one does that, no one could uh, offer that possibility to you. But still, you can still choose it. Like if, like how many times do we give up who we are and what we would like to have in our life just because we think like no one could provide this or it's not available on our planet. And everything uh, it brings up for you, will you now destroy and uncreate all that? Cool. And now we are coming to the space of infinite possibilities. Like why, why is it sort of like valuable or how does it come to us or why should we talk about it? And maybe that is the element which sort of like, like how many points of view we have about the resources, about the availability, also about our own capacities. Like even if I choose, I can't make it happen. And the space of infinite possibilities is, is a space for who we are. That's the space of the infinite being we are. You know, things look um, impossible if you function from the daily limitations that, that we live in. But once we start to function from our true nature, the space of infinite possibilities, suddenly everything starts to become available. It's like, uh, imagine that you don't have money and you try to tell yourself like a positive mantra that I have money, but at the same time, you know, you don't have money. And somewhere you heard it that you have to do this, like keep repeating that you have money, but somehow, you know, you don't have, and it's not going to happen. And the amazing value of functioning from space of infinite possibilities is that in that space, you don't have the doubt that you don't have money. Maybe like your brain knows, logically you know that you don't have physically in your hands right now that amount of money. But it's not a question that you will have by the time you need it. And you have the capacity to do anything and everything that's required for that to show up. So it really matters what is the space that you are functioning from, whether you are functioning from your limitations or from the space of the infinite possibilities. And as an infinite being, that is your natural space. So I would like to invite you to, to start to function as an infinite being. And you may say like, how the hell should I function as an infinite being? Because I never been that, or I don't know how to be that, but, but maybe you could start with asking or like choosing to, to have that space. Like you can say every morning, that I'm choosing to function as the infinite being I am. I'm choosing to function as the being and, and my body as well from the space of infinite possibilities. And the amazing thing is that information starts to show up and possibilities also starts to show up. But it needs to start somewhere. And it starts with you. You know, if maybe you heard about that um, as an infinite being, you are the quintessence. The quintessence is, is the source. So in other 
form, you are the source of everything. If you don't do it, it will not happen. It will not show up. If you don't ask for it, it will not happen. It will not show up. If you don't make the steps that you know you should do, then again, it will not happen and will not show up. So, of course, we could procrastinate and we could wait for a better time, for a better day, a time when there is no war in the neighborhood, a time when there is no COVID or Corona, a time when there is, we have more time when kids grow up, a time when we have more money, when we feel more healthy, when the sun is shining and everything is amazing. But actually, it all starts with you and you can choose to create your future. So maybe now it doesn't look like this is the right time, but it's again, it's you who will decide what is the right time. And it's always decided based on points of view and judgments and expectations. So what have we decided about what is the right time to start to create our life? Start to create a much greater life for yourself, for your family, for your beloved ones, for your kids, for your pets, for your friends, for yourself. It's not uh, being selfish to, to create a better life for yourself, to start to form the life in a way that works for you. Everyone can do that. Everyone can do it to form their life the way they would like to have it. The only question, uh, when is the time to start it? And when will you actually start it? So everything you decided that this is not the right time. And actually you are not the person because you don't have the capacity and you don't have anything required for that. Will you now destroy and create all that for all eternity? And actually everywhere where you are, where you decided that you are not going to do it because there are so many options or, or moments where you could fail. Therefore, and, and you cannot see that. You don't see it up front when you will fail or what would be those moments or situations where you could fail. So it's better not to start. The amazing thing when you think it, Imagine that, that this is not even your thought, but you are aware of other people's thoughts and fears and doubts. So the amazing thing that you are aware of everyone else's shit and everyone else's shit is sort of like hiding your own beauty and your own amazing awareness. So, but you are the one who is aware of that. So you have awareness, but are you willing to sort of like start to focus your awareness to your life, to, to create your future instead of picking up everyone else's fear and doubt. So it's not true that you don't have an awareness. You, don't, you cannot see the future. It's not true. You can see the future and you can sense the energy. You can sense the possibilities. You can make a choice and you have the power to create everything you desire. And actually it is possible. The possibilities are there even if you cannot see that now. So when will you start to use your awareness for yourself, for your future, for your body, for your health, for your relationship, for your financial reality, for your kids? When will you start to use your amazing power, the infinite being that you are, and, and create that future? So... Of course, behind procrastination, there are so many logical reasoning, like the kids are not big enough. We don't have enough money. First, we have to have a better job. First, we have to move to a bigger house. First, we have to have more free time. First, we have to wait till the kids become or finish university. Then we have to wait until they get married, until they get the first child, the second grandchild, the third grandchild. And maybe after that, you can start your life. Or you have to wait until something else happens. Maybe until Corona is finally finished and all kinds of wars are finally finished. But 
there is never a greater moment than now because everything happens now so why should i wait another now because now is now so everything you decided about the right timing or the wrong timing or there is no timing well you just try and create all that for all eternity yeah, I that. and everything about um, your capacities as an infinite being and actually of course now everyone is listening and everyone thos- thinks that i'm an infinite being that's great but what will happen like 30 minutes later or an hour later or tomorrow morning when you forget about that you are an infinite being in this everyday life situations when you have to go to the supermarket and wait in a long queue and that queue is not the right queue because that's the longest queue and and just the cash machine is just you know breaking down in front of you when you get into you know paying for your stuff so what have you decided about what is it being an infinite being is that only during meditation or it's only during a class or it's only when you close your eyes and you you start to you know you get some energy from outer space you are an infinite being right now you are an infinite being in the next moment as well you were in the previous moment as well but it is you as well how you see yourself if you think you are an everyday guy or girl or mom or dad or whoever you are but just an everyday general person then suddenly you put yourself in a big pool an energetic pool of all the people and all the definitions of everyday and general so everything that is everyday and general that we use to sort of like stop ourselves or that we use as an excuse that we are not that special or we use as the energy as the reasoning to tell everyone why things are not happening or why they should not expect something greater from us so we this train on create and return it back to the sender everywhere where we were giving up uh what we were aware of that how much greater life is available for us of course everyday general people doesn't have a great life you can have a general life but not very great you can have a uh, general life situations a uh, general and medium level of happiness but is this truly what you desire to have and everything you decided about uh being special is like is like not normal and everything you decided about what is the difference between general and special Will you destroy not create all that? What if you don't have to be special and you don't have to be general, but you can be totally yourself and you can enjoy the capacities that you have. And no matter how special your life is at the moment or not special, no matter what magic you have done so far from your point of view, you can start in this very moment to start to function as the infinite being that you are irrelevant to anyone's definitions about infinite beings or anyone's points of view about infinite beings that if i were an infinite being i would do and know everything right now if i were an infinite being i would have all the money in the world i would see everything immediately i would know everything and i would have capacities like who knows who and everything of that will destroy and uncreate for all eternity you can be the infinite being that you truly be and you don't have to match anyone else's energy you don't have to match anyone else's expectations just truly who you are so allow yourself to have total ease with who you are with your capacities and what magic can show up if you don't have expectations about magic if you don't have the fear about uh the failure like 
maybe you've heard that that an infinite being uh, uh, uh -huh. it, it never fails but only quit before things could show up as they desire so everywhere um you sort of like function from other people's expectations and realities instead of functioning from the space of infinite possibilities. Will you now destroy and uncreate all that? Everywhere you gave up who you are and what you know, all the different times it was told you that you are just a general everyday person you know, get down to earth and, and do your stuff, like go to work, wait in the QE, do your daily housework, because this is your life. And I'm not saying this is not part of life, but what have you decided about the things that you desire to have, but not allowed to enjoy? Like, what are those life situations that Everyone tells you that you will never have, or it's too expensive to have, or it's impossible to generate such a life, or, or, it's, uh, or you should wait a long time, or it's too much effort to have such life. So will you just turn on, create, and uh, return back to the sender? And actually, what is true about your awareness that you that you were never willing to recognize like everywhere where you made your awareness equal to yeah everywhere where you mixed up your awareness with your judgment and you decided this is your judgment it's not your awareness so you destroy and uncreate all that and actually everywhere it was your awareness so you were just avoiding your awareness because you thought it's a judgment. So are you willing to receive that? So and actually everywhere where you were listening to your judgments and other people's judgments and you thought this is reality. And actually this is not reality, maybe it's their reality, but you were pushing or pulling energy into this fake reality. So how much would it change your life if you were pulling energy into the reality that you desire to have instead of everyone else's reality? Everyone else's reality that doesn't really work for you. Good. Do you have any questions so far or anything came up for you? Or is there any topic you would like to hear about? Okay. Great. So maybe the question is, is it coming or not? Uh, you can also type in or unmute yourself in whichever way you would like to have it. So actually, how much time do you give yourself or how much time you spend uh, in a way of opening up your creativity uh, regarding the things that you desire to have? For example, instead of in me, like you have an idea what you would like to have, it can be something that need, that has like that has anything to do with money or with relationship or with health. But usually, you know, like the first thing comes into our mind is the logical response of what are the limitations that you have to face, therefore you cannot have it. So actually, instead of immediately going into these limitations, what if you would start to use your creativity 
And you can say that you are not an artist or you are not a person of arts. Therefore, you don't have creativity, but everyone has creativity if you start to use it. The creativity is, is required for life to, to figure it out. You know, creativity is like sensing the, the fine energy of possibilities in all the different combinations of possibilities. So would you allow yourself to be creative? In other words, would you allow yourself to sense the fine energy of the possibilities that actually you are looking for? Like in which way you could create the future that you desire? Like you would like to buy a new car, but maybe you don't have all the money for that. So if you tap into it, what is required for that to show up? Like what, what could you do or what is it that you know about it? Like what do you know about uh, in which ways you could have that car? In which many ways can you create sort of like a bridge between your actual reality and the reality where you have that car? And are you willing to sort of like have that car right now as part of your reality? Allow, you, allow that car to be organically be part of your reality. Is that an impossible reality or is that just one version of many realities? Like what have you decided about the things that you desire to have? Whether it's possible or impossible, or it's hard to do, therefore you will not do anything for that. So everywhere you function from any limitation regarding what you desire to have, will you just turn on create? And what are the infinite ways and what are the infinite combinations of possibilities that, yeah, possibilities that is, uh, like the infinite combinations of possibilities through which it could show up. So everybody decided it's impossible to have, like maybe the first question, what is your definition to who you are? Because when we define ourselves, maybe you never said a word like, who are you? Like you don't define it, like you don't have a description, but we always like look into the mirror in a sense of other people's judgment. Like we think, we are equal to the people's judgment around us. We are equal to the different groups of this society. Like there is a group of society of, of men and women, like having a university degree or having just a high school degree or, or age brackets or professional brackets or relationship brackets, like you are married or you are divorced or you are alone or you have kids or you don't have kids, what is your income, like monthly income gap or group? So based on this, we have sort of like an unsaid uh, definition of who we are and therefore what is possible and available for us. And of course you have a life experience, so many things that somehow didn't show up. So you failed in all those things. And this way you create like an image of who you are and what is possible and available for you. And of course, we are matching ourselves to other people as well. And we put ourselves into that same pool of all those other people who have the same kind of energy, same kind of life experience and life situations. And so when you define yourself, what happens that suddenly you start to see uh, for as the source of your life all these other people's energy maybe you don't know many of these people who have a similar life than you but through that definition that self-definition you start to tap into the energy of all of these people but not just the energy but their points of view their judgments 
their expectations, their fears, their doubts, their failures. So consciously or unconsciously defining yourself and functioning from the definition of the image of who you are, it makes it really hard to, to step out from that group of energy. And here comes that moment of uh, sort of like uh, giving up the definitions. You know, no definitions, no descriptions, no structure to who you are. It doesn't mean if you are a mother, then if you don't define yourself as a mother, then you will become a, a no mother. You will be a mother. But you don't make it significant. Or if you are a, a mother with kids who is divorced, Technically, you stay the same, but energetically, you can be different. And what matters is the energy if it comes to creating your future. Like maybe you don't have a job. You don't have a place to live. Like you have to rent. You don't own. But it doesn't mean like the physical reality, like what is around you. It doesn't mean it has to sort of like control the future that you can create now. So if you give up all the definitions of who you are and what is your life circumstances in this very moment, then you can have a different energy for your future, for yourself. You can totally function from the energy that you would like to have. And actually that is the key to, to move into that direction, to have the future that you truly would like to have. Because as long as you keep functioning from that actual energy, that actual reality, that is actually not working for you. So as long as you do that, it will keep the same. If you would like to change it, then allow yourself to function from, a, from the reality that you desire to have. So what would you have in that reality? You would have a loving relationship, you would have lots of money, much more than what you can spend. You would have an amazing, healthy body, flexible body, beautiful body. You would have uh, lots of friends, lots of possibilities for parties, lots of possibilities to travel, enjoy your life, eat the food that you desire, and have fun. And it's not about I'm not from the space that, oh, I'm sorry for myself because I don't have it. Oh, and I don't know how I can have it, but from the space of, I'm choosing to have it. I'm choosing to function from that. I'm choosing to, to fully enjoy it as, as my reality. Like my reality that I can sense even with, with my body, with my five senses. So everywhere where you sort of like trying to connect back to the reference points of your past, you now destroy and create all that. Like what would it take to, to truly function from actually any kind of energy that you choose? And it's not lying to yourself. Like every like even like before everyone could say that. Now we are learning to do daydreaming. It's not about daydreaming because the energy you are functioning from, that creates your future. If you are present with the energy, then you are, pre you are present with your future. You are consciously creating your future. So what is the future that you would like to create? And actually, what is the energy of joy? What is the energy of being wealthy and rich? What, what is the energy of being healthy? What is the energy of having lots of free time? What is the energy of having an amazing relationship, having a beautiful home on the beach? What is the energy of uh, traveling a lot overseas? Like, what would it be for you? Because it's a funny thing. What is the difference between 
reality and and the energy of a possibility like you can say if you have the reality of, of traveling to let's say having a walk in the forest you can do that physically because maybe there are forests not so far around you so you can go there and you can say oh it's an easy thing i did it 100 times therefore i remember it so i can bring up the energy of that but i i never been to bangkok therefore i cannot bring up the energy of that or i never been rich therefore i cannot bring up the energy of that actually you can watch um photos like you can look at a photo or you can watch a movie about bangkok there are so many videos recorded on the internet so you can connect to the place you can connect to the energy you can connect to everything that is there just the same way you can connect to to the energy of the forest where you've been you can even ask for the acoustic wave of uh, traveling to Bangkok and, and enjoying yourself in Bangkok, even if you've never been there. You never, you don't have to be there in order to have access to that energy, to that life situation, to that lifestyle of traveling around the world. It's just you need to choose and ask for the acoustic wave of that situation. And you start to have uh, like that energy starts to come into your life, like like pouring in into your life, like instilling it into your life. So more and more of that starts to show up. Like the sensation, like even if you are sitting at home, you can have the sensation of being in a really busy street, like walking on a really busy street where you can hear the, the, the noises of the street and the people around you with lots of restaurants, lots of uh, uh, lamps and, and lighting uh, things around you. So maybe the big question, is this real or not? Is this just daydreaming again? It doesn't have to be daydreaming because this is something you are consciously asking for. So you are the one in charge and you are the source of it. And, and you clearly know why you are doing it. So are you willing to be the source of your future? And when, when have you gave up being the source of your future? When have you gave it away to your parents, to your boss, to your teachers, or to your mentors, or to the celebrities? When was the time when you gave up that, that power of creating your future? When was the time when you gave up to create your future, to have the future that you desire? And everything that brings up will you now destroy and uncreate and and actually will you now revoke recount rescind reclaim renounce denounce for all eternity beyond time and space and all dimensions and you can lower your barriers and ask for all the things that you gave away or you gave up all your capacities that you separated yourself from and all the dreams that you gave up as well. So you can lower your barriers and receive all of it again. Like it doesn't make you less if you have creativity or it doesn't make you less if you have a desire. It is not bad, it is, it is not judgeable. You are really allowed to desire and ask for things to show up in your life. So everyone ever told you that don't be a bad boy or bad girl, a naughty girl, you're asking too much, you're asking all the time, you are, you know, you are wanting too much. So stop it. Now you're an adult, you, you have your powers, you have your capacities. And here is the time to start to ask for anything and everything that you always wanted to have.
it's never late it's always now so start to ask for everything that you desire to have ask for everything to show up as part of your life as your reality here and now so thank you so much for joining us today and uh, hope you had a great time and i think in two weeks time we will see each other again with the sixth part of this series and uh, you will know uh, the details also very soon thank you again and thank you for the amazing uh, translators for being part of it today and for making this all happen so please enjoy your weekend and uh, see you very soon again Thank you. See you. Bye-bye.